Hey everybody, um, here at the graduation. My name is Jules and uh, my project is about a young witch who is looking to become more powerful. And along her journey of learning magic and learning more about herself, she accidentally befriends a demon who's been trapped inside the body of a crow and is looking for a way out. Um, I hope you guys enjoy my project as much as I enjoyed working on my project. And thank you to everybody who's helped me grow and learn and improve along the way, including my parents, uh, my teachers, and my friends. So thank you. Hello everyone, my name is Mi. Thanks to all my friends, family, Kian and Daniela, Gunnett, Miguel, my dog, and five years old Megwood. I'm here to show you my final concept art, the personal of this one. This concept is came from a fun idea that I want to see cakes, desserts as character design. 
My process is start with zero eight concept draft, color test, add some detail, put them in the same side, and boom, my character. I also create the bakery exterior and interior, mock up them in Maya, and drawing in Photoshop. I do some prop, animal, key art in the same way too. So that's all my process. And next clip is my final. Thanks for watching and please enjoy. Hi everyone, I'm Shi from SA17. Today I'm gonna print in my final project, Lily's Secret. My story is about uh, a little creature, Todd, and uh, the girl Lily who can see this little creature. And the uh, things happen between Lily Todd and her best friend Sakura. Uh, thank you all the year support. Thank you ACA17 and thank you everyone who support me uh, to accomplish my dreams. Please enjoy my video. Hello everybody, my name is Anna Correa. I want to take VFS for the great opportunity to work with animation and conceptual art since it is my big dream to become a professional in this area. So I thank my teachers and my classmates for the wonderful year, even though we had pandemic. So my project is called Bon Chance, which tells a story of a fictional character that lives under the sea. And then one day she unintentionally needs to leave, where she goes to uh, land in a beach, which is located in, in Manton, France, where she meets a human family. Enjoy!
Hey everyone, uh, this is my final project. It's called Harry and Andre, named after the two main characters. Um, it's an animated sitcom uh, in the vein of something like King of the Hill uh, or The Simpsons uh, or maybe even like King Star King, I don't know. Uh, it's about two, two young boys. Uh, they're two punk teenagers from a small town in the middle of nowhere called El Dorado. Um, the series follows their adventures, or rather misadventures, as they uh, dream of uh, getting getting out of their uh, um, dumpy little small town where there are no jobs, uh, everybody knows each other, and, um, and nothing happens ever. Um, it's about uh, teenage energy and it's about like being creative when you don't have um, much stuff to do around and it's about um, petty crimes, uh, teenage delinquency and all sorts of good stuff. So there you go. <laughs> Hello everyone, my name is Sierra Fury and I'm part of the graduating class of AC17. The work you're about to see is part of my project which is called Spirit Wilds, in which a group of teenagers sneak away from their small village in order to explore the forbidden depths of the spirit world. This project, uh, I wanted it to be a 3D animated movie, so I focused on some character designs and some environmental work, um, and for me uh, it was uh, really exciting to make this. I had a lot of fun um, and I hope that you guys enjoy. Do you enjoy exciting adventures? Do you love being number one? Do you have a competitive spirit longing to be unleashed? Of course you do! Hello and welcome everyone to my project Descent of Invidious, a three-dimensional multiplayer online battle arena, or MOBA for short. 
In just a moment, you'll finally get to see it in its full glory. The intricate character designs, fancy props, shiny special effects, and much more. However, before we proceed, I would like to quickly thank everyone who has supported me on this crazy journey. My other half, family, instructors, and friends for always believing in me and being an amazing source of support, feedback, and joy. I couldn't have done it without you. But that's enough talking from me, let's take a look at my project now, shall we? Hello, my name is Rebecca Garcia, and I will present you now my personal project name, Cedio, in which humans, cryptids, and gods live along. In this world, there's a constant fight between all races, and during those fights, the gods protecting them have been slayed. I will be presenting you now the main characters revolving the story of this project, so now let's hit it! Hi, it's me again, Rebecca. Before the presentation start, I want to thank everyone in BFS. It was an amazing year being with you, living with the cat, chaos it came. And I also want to thank my family that helped me come through this kind of stressful time. And thank you really, really, really much for having me and for everything that happened. Now, let's go with the video. Hello everyone, I'm Annika Harris. I am so thankful for this opportunity to attend and graduate from VFS. I am also the first person in my immediate family to graduate from college and I'm eternally grateful that it was from here at VFS. ACA 17 and teachers, I love you all so much. Follow along with me for a journey of a mysterious bridge a brother who gets turned into a rooster by an evil feline witch, a friendly wizard willing to help, and a sister's quest to save her brother's human form. This is Yonder Bridge. Enjoy.
Hi everyone, my name is Johanna and my project is about a young girl named Sulvey who notices something odd one night about a stranger when her town has gathered together to dance. Her observation saves her from the grim fate that the rest of her town suffers, but instead she is changed in other ways. In the story, Sule sets out to find the one responsible and to find a way back to herself again. I want to thank all of my great teachers for the help that I've gotten along the way, and also my amazing classmates uh, who helped shape this project a lot. Uh, it would not have been the same without them, and um, I hope you enjoy it. Thank you. Hi. Hi. <laughs> it's the end of the program. Well, I have not much to say. And about my personal project, it's just a part of world I created a few years ago, and I want to expand a new place. And that's all. Just have a look. Good luck, everyone. Bye.
Hi everyone, this is Hao Xuan, and I would like to show you guys my new project today. Um, here's a story. There's a pair of brothers who were separated from the birds. One of them was saved by a mysterious old man. That old man taught him how to control and drive the sword. But his brother is not lucky as him. He was taken away by a beast. And left alone. He struggles, runs, and kills. Everything he does is just about to survive. Where they meet again? And what happened when they meet again? Here's my new project, Inya. Hi, this is Tony Nguyen, and this is my final project, Asteria Fantasia. Now, before I move on to talking about it, I just want to take a moment to thank the amazing instructors who have taught me over the year, as well as my classmates who have been with me uh, during this course. So, you guys are awesome. So, my project takes place in the fictional world of Asteria, and revolves around the main protagonist, Lucas Brand, and his companions as they travel the world, to thwart the evil plans of the Drakian Empire in their quest for world domination. So this project will focus solely on the character designs as well as the props designs, uh, weapons designs. I hope you enjoy it. Hey guys, my name's Megan and I'm here to tell you guys about my project, Defenders of Aoterra. This journey follows Basil the Huntress, Finn the Monk, and Sid the Satyr. Three mismatched individuals that must band together to protect their home, Aoterra, and defeat a common enemy. Gortok, a great mountain beast that has just awoken from its 1000 year slumber.
Hi, my name is Lina, and I'm not used to being recorded. Also, I'm a concept artist. So I'm going to talk you about the project that I've been working on, that it's called After Summer. After Summer is a 2D short animation about a girl and her volleyball team. She used to be the star of her team until one day she got an injury. Now she will have to face her own fears if she wants to be back on top of the game. So I hope you enjoyed this preview of the project. If you want to see more of it for the future, you can follow me on my Instagram. But for now, bye. Hello everyone, my name is Rodrigo Santana and I'm proud to present my project entitled Exorbis. Exorbis is a graphic novel for teenagers and adults who will follow the adventures of our main characters, Nemesius, a being of an unknown race that has super strength and memory loss, Rehat, a confused prophet and a prince without kingdom, Benedictia, a heaven sentinel with a strange disease and a pending revenge, and Arpagius, Emperor of the Husaric Empire obsessed with power and divinity. Their destinies intertwine and traveling together they will discover the wonders that this fantasy world keeps. I hope you like it just as well as I enjoy creating it. Thank you all. Hi, I'm Elliot, and I would like to do introduce you to my project, Omicron 7. Before all that, however, I would also like to give a huge thank you to all of the amazing staff and students I have met on my journey through VFS. I have made so many friends and met so many people who were willing to push me beyond what I could possibly imagine I could reach. I'd also like to thank my family for putting up with me being even more of a hermit during all of these times. Um, my project follows a main character named Scout49 as he crash lands on a, de a supposedly desolate planet and finds to his horror it is just filled with terrible flora and fauna of all different varieties that want to ruin his day.
Hope you enjoy. Hello everyone, tonight I'll be telling you about my final project, Opens at Dusk. In the dark alleys of the Kingdom of Valeria, one can sometimes hear a rumor about a pet store that sells extremely exotic creatures. Creatures, in fact, made to mimic very illegal monsters. If only one can make it past the scrutiny of the owner and the exorbitant price tag. Welcome, one and all. I am Natasha, also known as Nate, and today I'll be presenting to you my story, Circus Giac. Set in a cruel and unforgiving world, the circus really is the only comfort for the ringmaster and his family of misfits. Going through various hardships together, they can only really hope to come together and create a safe home and a respite from the world around them. Saving others along the way, these others include creatures, characters, and even various monsters. But nothing ever really goes as planned. And, well, the ringmaster can only hope not to lose his family along the way. Now, without further ado, please enjoy. In a gothic, whimsical world ruled by greed, a well-meaning ringmaster struggles to find the status he so desperately needs to keep his growing family of misfits from falling apart. That is, without losing himself along the way. Circus DR. Good afternoon to everyone. My name is Miguel Angel, and it's an honor to be here showing my project to everyone. But first of all, congratulations to the AC17. 
My project is about a world I created myself over the years, with fantasy science fiction where the world's currency is about hunting, and with hunting I mean criminals, creatures, or even treasures and mysteries. At first I was going to create a concept for a graphic novel, but then I decided to change it into a video game. It was amazing and challenging to create this world. I'm happy with the final results with the idea in mind that I need to keep practicing to grow as an artist. I would like to thank all the teachers that had the patience and dedication to see and give feedback to my project. I can say I learned a lot over this weird and crazy year. I hope all of my fellow companions find the path to get great jobs and I wish you all the best of luck. Thank you. Hello everyone, I'm Deep Mupadre. Before I get started to talk about my project, I would like to take a moment here and thank all the instructors and faculty here at VFS. I would also like to thank all my friends and my classmates for all their help and support and for even encouraging me to do better this year. Finally, I would also like to thank my family for believing in me and for giving me this opportunity to come here and pursue my dreams. This wouldn't have been possible without your help. Thank you all so much. My project is for teenager boy Lovepush goes on a journey to become one of the finest warriors and a noble king like Lord Rama. On his journey, he meets Hanuman who trains him and also becomes his mentor. But Lovekush's life changes completely as he discovers the ultimate truth about Lord Rama being his father. I hope you enjoy it. Hello everybody, uh, my name is Ivan, as you all know by this point, and uh, I hope you all are doing okay, well more than okay, I hope. And uh, I am basically here to tell you a bit about my project, so, so that you all have some kind of context for the video that you are about to see after this. And uh, my project is called The Dark Age, uh, and the premise of the story is that when a Viking returns to his town, of, uh, to his town in the kingdom of Amicia, after all the pillaging and raiding that he has done, uh, he finds his family gone. Uh, most presumably taken by Anglo-Saxon soldiers and uh, so I've designed some props, weapons, structures uh, to support this narrative and uh, it's a 3D modeling and texting showreel um, and yeah, enjoy, thank you
All right, shut the fuck up for a second. The sun is setting on this shithole, and the hoverbacks have just been serviced. Courtesy of yours truly. You can smell it on the exhaust. <sighs> Have a whiff of that. Brings the tear to the eye every time. But enough chit chat. Somebody better go get Miss Boss Lady's sword ready. Because when she gets here, she's going to have one big, angry lizard on her tail. And that's when we annoy the crap out of the fucker until she gets a clean swing. So let's rock. Time to hunt some fucking dragons. Um, hi, this is Kalai, just in case you don't know me, I would like to thank Vancouver Film School, my parents, and my friends who support me through this tough year. I really learned a lot through this program, and next I will be introducing my final project, Last Prelude. It's about the protagonist, you, starts her journey to find the truth of her curse. I hope you will enjoy it. Uh, hi, I'm Ivy. Uh, my story is that the ghost uh, make up for the regard of a bride who died before she got married and they help her with her wedding. Uh, that's it. Thank you.